Okay. All right, Metro Detroit golfers. It is Tuesday. I'm Chad. This is Ben. Dude, what the hell are you doing? Working on my swing, bro. What are you doing? Like, what do you mean working on your swing? That doesn't look like a golf swing. Oh yeah, it does. Do you see how perfect all these positions are? P1, P2, P3, P4. Perfect my ass. Dude! It doesn't look like it looks like on TV, man. Oh yeah, it does, man. Okay. It's just broken up into pieces. We're not doing that. <laughs> this Tuesday, we want to help you to understand why your swing isn't silky smooth, and then furthermore, what you can do to help smooth it out. Stop doing that, man. <laughs> okay, man, tell us what the hell is going on. <laughs> Working on my move, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> Chad and I are gonna talk a lot about how to smooth this thing out. One of the sure ways to have a clunky golf swing is to break it up into pieces. So if you want your swing to feel like an unfolded lawn chair, the only thing you gotta do is keep breaking it up into pieces. You'll be just fine. You'll get exactly what it is that you're looking for. But we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna do it a little different. Okay, so uh, when folks come to see us at the Golf Leadership Academy, 100% of the people, we start with trying to smooth out the motion, get rid of all the swing thoughts. That's where everybody starts. And then almost everybody is shocked as to how it works. So we're gonna lead with the idea, the goal, to feel, sense, smoothness with the swing, yes? Yeah. Okay, so show us what that would look like. So we just saw what you were doing and uh, we think that's funny. <laughs> and then this would be different. Okay, so go back and forth. So without the idea as you do this of being perfect, that'll kill this quicker than anything. We're leading with the idea of smoothly swinging the weight of the club head. And then allowing, the key word there is allowing everything to go with. So we're not gonna have any restrictions or parts or pieces or any drama. We just wanna start swinging smoothly. Yeah. So it's amazing that, that everybody can when they try. You gotta change the goal and get the baggage out. Change the goal, get the baggage out. And you can if you try. So the reason your swing isn't sil silky smooth is because you're not trying to. Yeah, you're and then trying. the other thing is uh, going back to our boy, Stephen Yellen. He actually taught us a lot about the cerebellum. One of the roles of the cerebellum in your brain is to smooth out your motion. And it has to. Yeah, you have no choice. Yeah. But guess what? If you're loaded up with just a bunch of swing thoughts, you don't have access to the cerebellum, so it's not going to be smooth. So get the baggage out of your head. And when you talk about the baggage, you're talking about the swing story, thoughts, the swing thoughts, breaking it up, swing being attached thoughts. to the outcome, oh, yeah, yeah, a billion yeah. different things, right? Back to the how to unf yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna start trying to make smooth swings. If you do that, you are gonna be shocked. So standing over the ball is your goal to hit the ball and hit a good shot or something different? Silky smooth, baby. Silky smooth. So in this one, uh, we talked about last week about the one to five goal. Show us if it only, if you were only trying to sense smooth. Sure. Show us what that would look like. Wow, pretty smooth. <laughs> 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 that was different. It's easy if you commit to it, right? If you try. Yeah. If and it, you try. It requires training too, so I'm not going to stand up here and tell you guys that that's easy on the golf course. It's easy in this environment because I'm not playing golf. There's no score. There's just me and the screen and you. And uh, so it's a little bit easier in an indoor environment than what it is in the golf course. But most people never train this skill. They don't even practice. They're not trying. No. Yeah, so no, I, I, would just, I would just go back to that. You're just not trying to make it smooth. So the reason it isn't smooth is because you're not trying to. Yep. And then the skill is learning to detach from the outcome. Like and all these only... swing thoughts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, think about your best round of golf. And then uh, if in the comments section, you, you talk about that. And then did it feel like it was in parts or pieces? Or did it feel smooth and effortless? So give us some insight as to your best golf day out there. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, thumbs down if you don't. We'd appreciate you joining in. Uh, and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of these videos. So we thank you for joining us on this Tuesday tip and we look forward to seeing you next time.